Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Blow video, and welcome to episode 3 of the Texas Longhorns Rebuild. In today's episode, we are taking on the Florida Gators in Tallahassee, Florida, and then we're going to stay on the East Coast and travel north to State College and play the Penn State Nittany Lions. After that, we'll circle back home and we'll take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. We've got a nice three-game slate today. Now, in episode two, if you haven't seen it yet, spoiler alert in just a second here, we went one and two. We started off with a win in our first regular season game against the Tennessee Volunteers. Then we struggled two close losses against the Miami Hurricanes and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, the problem is that Amari Hooker has six fumbles in seven games. He had three fumbles in those three games. We're going to rename him, get his mind right. He is now Amari Hook'em. Hook'em horns. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Psych up the team. Let's take a quick look at Florida as we get into today's game. Dwayne Fluker, after getting suspended, you're going out and partying all night. You're getting fined. And Dwayne, you're getting suspended another game can't be having this. I think we're going to have to send you to the transfer portal after this season. I mean, I might not even let him play the rest of the year if he has a third infraction. All right, Florida with the crispy home alternates with the white helmets. We're going to wear our color rush, which is the exact same as our away uniforms. We don't have Fluker. Hopefully that won't be a problem. All right, we kick off Florida with the ball. And we're driving downfield, and they get a touchdown. They're up 7-0. First play on offense. Going to use an audible. Try to punch this right up the middle. Amari hook him. No gain. Second and 10 coming up. Hit him over the top. There we go. Gain of 10. It's going to be third and inches. Good play there. Good play there. We'll hand it off here. Bounce it outside. Only pick up a yard. But we get the first down. On first down, I'm going to try to get the ground game going through our quarterback, Jawil Ishmael. Come on, Jawil. Come on, Jawil. Pick up a five. We'll take that. Second down here. Run it with Amari Hookham. There we go. Blocks develop. That's something I was trying to talk about. Got it a little bit there as we picked up five yards and the first down. On first down here. Try to let the blocks develop, and it doesn't, and we lose the five yards we just gained. So now we've got second and 15. On second and 15, we're going to try to get Van Noy. It's in traffic. It's deflected. It's intercepted. Come on, Van Noy. You've got to help us out there. Got to help us out. But we force a punt. Now we've got a long drive we've got to try to make here. But our defense, they're trying to give us a chance at least. So Will Ishmael will scramble with him, pick up three yards, second and seven, minute 49 left until halftime, and Amari Hookham gets no gain. So third and seven, we're going to pass to Amari Hookham, gets the first down, gain of eight. We're going to have to pass to him, get him into open space. At least that's how it's looking. Use an audible here on first down. Bounce outside on the run, but he gets stuffed for a loss of one. Oh my goodness. Second and 11. You're going to look to Van Noy over the top. Beautiful, beautiful gain of 21. And that's a first down for the Longhorns here. On first down, hit Amari Hookham. He only gets two yards. Florida's got really good tackling corners, which is unfortunate because I'm trying to work the runs outside. We just overthrow Van Noy. Third down, blitz look. We're going to go to Van Noy. We've got to keep the ball moving downfield. Gain of 19. First down to the 29. Let's go, baby. On first down. Bounce inside because that corner is stuffing us. We still only get two yards. The running game is struggling for sure today. Second down. I'm going to do a little quarterback draw with Jawel Ishmael. Get outside. Get three yards and get out of bounds. Third and five with 26 seconds, and we hit Van Noy. He gets the first down. We'll call our first time out with 20 seconds left here in the half. And then we're going to go right back to Van Noy. He catches it. He gets the touchdown to make it a 7-6 ball game. Kick the extra point here and hopefully tie the game. Kick is up, and it is good. 
That's a new animation. I like it. I like it. So it's 7-7 seven, seven at the half. Get the ball to start the second half. Let's really try to establish the run here with Amari Hookham as he gets no yards again. Oh, my goodness. Second and 10. We're going to throw... That's Van Noy. I was really going for a default receiver, but we'll take it. Gets it to third and three. On third and three, we're going to sit in the pocket, let the blocks develop, and Jawil Ishmael with the run. Seven yards first down. On first down... Use an audible. We'll run it. Get it up the middle. Only get a yard. This run game is not working like I want it to work. Second down, we're going to pass it. And hook him fumbles. Oh, my goodness. I might have to bench him just to get him rested. And now we're down 13-7. But we did stop the extra point attempt. So that's good. And then hook him. We get him in space. He gets 13 yards. I still want to show faith in him. I really do believe in him, but I think we need someone to share the workload with him. I don't think he can be the guy quite like we want him to, at least not this early in his Longhorns career. Third and two, we get a gain of nine and a first down. On first down, going over the top, that's Van Noy. Let's go, baby. That's to the 13 first down, and that's where we start the fourth quarter. Going to use an audible here. There we go. Default receiver. Get it out of bounds. Not quite, but a gain of seven. Beautiful. Beautiful. Second and three. Hook him. Gets the six-yard receiving touchdown. And with the extra point, we can take a lead with a minute and 45 seconds left in this game. Kick is up, and it's good, and we are up 14-13. Can our defense hold? Florida's driving. They get the touchdown. They get the two. It's 21-14. The minute and five seconds left. We're going to need a touchdown here. Amari Hookham, 12 yards out of the backfield. I know. We're supposed to run more, pass less, but we're also trying to win games. We're also trying to win games. There we go. Hookham again. Another 11 yards in a first down. He might be a receiving back more than a power back like we've been trying to use him. Maybe we just need to use him correctly. He gets another 11 yards and a first down there. Then we hit our default receiver. 10 yards out of bounds. First down. Use an audible. There we go. Amari get to the sideline. We only get a yard. We're down to 22 seconds. He's our last audible. We're going to have Van Noy. There we go. That's a dot. And we're down to the 13. Timeout with 14 seconds left. We've got to get a touchdown here to extend the game. We have no star receivers. Use our last timeout with 9 seconds left. We're also out of audibles. Second down here. Okay, we're going to hook him. He made a man miss. He gets to the end zone for a touchdown. It's 21-20. Four seconds left. The extra point to force overtime. Got the power. Kick is up, and it's good. And we are not going to onside kick. We're going to take this to overtime. And we get the ball first in overtime. If we score it here, we win the game. Now, we are going to run it again. And there we go, hook him. Nine yards. We just had to get your mind right. We had to get you some easy passing downs, get you some nice check downs. There's two yards. There's the first down. There's the celebration. Let's go, Amari. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And then a 12-yard run. This is what we've been looking for. It just took you four quarters and partway into overtime to get there. Now you lose a yard. You're not quite there yet. You're still a freshman after all. But you're making some plays, kid. You're making some plays. And that's what we brought you here to do. That's what we brought you here to do. And then Jawil Ishmael scrambles for six yards on second and 11. So we've got third and five coming up. On third and five, little check down. Can Hooker or hook him, whatever you want to call him, get there? No, he doesn't. So fourth down, we've got a decision. Do we kick the field goal and hope our defense holds him, or do we go for it? I think we've got to go for it. We've got three audibles. Hook him has really come to life late in this game. We're actually just going to give it to him, and he gets the three yards. He gets the first down. 
we're on the road. This is going to hopefully be a huge statement road victory. So we've got to do everything we can. We're now down to 34 seconds, second and five. Uh, certainly, if we get a game-clinching, game-winning field goal, we'll take that. I just don't want to leave the Gators with time to respond to our field goal and win the game with a touchdown. Okay, fourth down coming up. At this point, 14 seconds. We'll trust our defense. We go for the field goal here. Going to get max power, decent accuracy, and that kick is good by Landry, and that should get us our second win of the season and it does so we move to two and two let's go longhorns horns up philip coley i'm gonna defend you i'm gonna defend my players when we're winning games what did you do you had two tackles not bad look at that our offensive lineman 13 and 14 blocks ishmael 262 three touchdowns and a pick the pick really wasn't his fault hook him 123 and two vanoy 123 and one Let's take a look. What was our running passing split like? So we ran it 16 times for only 36 yards. Ishmael passed it 28 times, but he ran it six more. So we ran it 22, passed it 28. That's not quite the 50-50, but it's a pretty good split. And we had crunch time in the fourth quarter where we had to be pass happy. Dwayne Fluker, you're fined. Honestly, get out of this program. I'm going to keep you benched, and then we're going to quietly portal you away. But I, I don't think Dwayne Fluker is seeing the field again. I have to go to the transfer portal after this game and find a wide receiver. But first, we're playing Penn State. We're not going to get a transfer until we're back home in Texas, about to take on the Gophers. This is a down year for Penn State. This would be a really nice game to win to hopefully get to three and two i know it's year one. Oh, i forgot to uh check on hookham's training status his fatigue levels hopefully he doesn't fumble this game though he picked up three yards then he picks up seven yards not bad not bad third and inches we'll run it with ishmael again trying to balance the workload reasonably here Ishmael gets four yards, gets the first down on first down. Hit Van Noy over the middle. We'll pass some, but we are trying to go much more run-centric and actually stick to that goal and not just say it. Okay, Hookham loses a yard on first down there. Second and 11. We're going to go right between tackle and guard. We get five yards, so it makes it third and six. On third and six, check down to Hookham. First down and more, gain of 13. He is very explosive. So I definitely think we just need to use him as less of a traditional running back as he picks up another eight yards. It's not that he can't succeed as a traditional running back. It's not his best use. Okay, we get a first down at the 11 and a half to start the second quarter here. Here we go. Starting quarter number two and... Okay, that is caught by Hookham. I almost thought it was picked. Then I thought it was incomplete. So we've got first and goal inside the one. Going to hand it to Hookham, and he gets the rushing touchdown to make it 7-6. Kick the extra point, and the game should be tied at 7. Yes, it is. Kick it off. Penn State, they punt. We get the ball back 102 until the half. Tie game be nice to get a field goal and take the lead 10-7. Plus, we get the ball to start the second half. We can still run it a bit here, though. We get three yards with Hookham after a first down pass to Van Noy first play. Go back to Van Noy, though. He gets another 13 and a first down. On first down to Amari Hookham we go. Oh, he makes some guys miss. He makes some more guys miss. What a run. Call a timeout. 22-yard run. We're inside the 40 easily in field goal range with, what, 23 seconds, one yard gain. We'll save our last time out. Realistically, we're going to call one more play here. A run to hook him. Get going, get going, kid. There we go. Out of bounds, six seconds left. I am going to just take the field goal here, take the points, get us up three, going into the half. 
There we go. Kick is up, and it's good. And 10-7 is the halftime score. And here we go. We get the ball to start the second half up 10-7. to now, my second half audio of this game against Penn State got slightly corrupted, so I am doing post-commentary just for the second half of this game. We hit Amari Hookham with the four-yard pass on first down. We get five yards rushing on second down. So we've got third and inches coming up, and we're going to hand it to Amari Hookham again. He gets four yards and a first down, and we're moving the ball right downfield already with a three-point lead. Then we go back to the passing game with Amari Hookham. He makes a nice juke to the outside and picks up 14 yards in the first down. Try to delay handoff there. We only get maybe a half yard. They're still going to call it second and 10, but we did something. Now, second and 10, we get one yard. So we've got third and nine coming up. On third and nine, we're going to dial up the pass to Amari Hookham. He makes a man miss. That is very lucky. 14 yards later, we have another first down. So we're marching right downfield. We're just inside the 25. On first down, we're going to do a delayed quarterback draw with Jawil Ishmael. We're into the red zone. We get the first down, a gain of 12. We're at the 13-yard line. Then we hand to Amari Hookham. He bounces outside, picks up five yards. We've got second and five coming up. And on second and five, we're going to hand it off up the middle and get stuffed. Third down and five, and we have the wide open tight end Van Noy. Seven yard touchdown makes it 16 to seven. Of course, we'll kick the extra point, try to make it a 10 point game, and we do. It is 17 to seven in favor of our Longhorns. Here we go in the fourth quarter, and we get an interception. So we're up 10 with the ball and a minute and a half left, looking to ice things away. You're going to see us hand the ball to Amari Hookham. There we go. Tried the delay handoff action again. Had a couple blocks up the middle, but nothing that allowed us to get free. And then we're tackled on third and seven, so fourth and six. We'll try the 57-yard field goal. We've got the power, and we have the accuracy. We're up 20-7 to seven as we make a 57-yard field goal. Now, Nasir Feeler injured out three games. That's bad. But we get the win 20-7, to which is good. We're now 3-2 and two on the season. We'll praise Barron, and let's get our players' conditioning back up. We have a level up for Feeler, even though he got injured. And with that, level up will boost his tackling. All righty, and a big win against Penn State, 20-7. to Let's go through the stats. Now, unfortunately, we did lose Nasir Feeler to injury for three games. I think two games, and we'll have a bye week in there. Dwayne Fluker will give you another chance, man. But Amari Hookham, if we look at his stats, 19 carries, 82 yards, and a touchdown. Pretty solid on the ground. And another six catches for 57 yards. He had himself a game. Jawil Ishmael, 11 passing attempts, 9 completions, 2 carries, 16 yards. So he had a very strong running presence in the process of winning. Shamar Landry made all of his kicks, including a 57-yard field goal. So our team's starting to come along nicely, and now we come back home to take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers, where we hopefully can advance to 4-2 and two on the season. Gophers are going to wear gold helmets, gold pants. Let's take him on here. Get the ball first, and we're going to run first play with Amari Hookham. Okay, he lost a yard, not the end of the world. We're going to have to mix it up a bit better. There we go. Second down, run, bounce outside, picks up 10, so it's third and short coming up. On third and short, we have Van Noy, our tight end. That is a first down and more, 13 yards before he's finally dragged down. On first down, we are going to try to get Fluker involved. He drops it incomplete. On second down, we're going to go back to Fluker. Going to get him to come across the middle. There we go. That's caught. Gain of nine, so third and short coming up. On third and short, we've got Van Noy wide open. He's our best receiving threat at this time. Picks up 22 yards, gets the first down. On first down, Mounts outside with Hookham. 
he gets five yards. So it's second and five. On second and five, little delay run. We pick up three yards. So we've got third and two at the three. We're going right back to Amari Hookham on third down. He doesn't get the touchdown, but he does get the first down. First and goal. We're going to try to get Jawil Ishmael to run it in himself, and he does. We're up 6 0. Extra point attempt coming up here. Let's make it 7, and that kick is good. So it's 7 0 Longhorns. Minnesota with the ball. They're driving downfield. They get a touchdown, so they tie it at 7 to start the second quarter. And we'll go to Van Noy. First play, he drops it incomplete. Second and 10, we're going to run it with Hookham. Beautiful run. Picks up 12 yards, gets the first down. He's really responding well to our newfound confidence in him. On first down, we're going over the middle. That is Van Noy. We were hoping Fluker might get it, but Fluker didn't show much presence trying to get there. Second and two. Going to do a little quarterback delayed draw. There we go. First down. Love the new slide animation. And the first down animation back to back. What a beautiful sequence to look at visually. Then we get four yards on first down. So we've got second and six here. On second and six, we're going to try to get Fluker on the comeback route. And we do. That is the first down. Oh my goodness. I forgot how slow he was. But 14 yards. We'll take that. On first down, get outside with Hookham. The corner tackles him. He picks up a yard, though. Second and nine. Go on bottom of the screen. Makes a man miss with the juke. He fumbles again, but it's out of bounds. And it's good enough for the first down. On first down, going to quarterback draw with Jawil Ishmael. Picks up six yards. We've got second and four. Under 30 seconds left in the half. Go back to you, hook him on the ground. He gets a yard. We'll call our first time out here. Third down, what, three yards to go? Hook him with the catch. Five-yard touchdown makes it 13-7. Kick the extra point, and the kick is up. It's good. We're up 14-7, and that's the halftime score. Half number two, Minnesota with the ball, and we force a fumble with our defense. Let's go, baby. Then we hit Van Noy on the streak. 15 yards first down. We're starting to hit on all cylinders with this Longhorns team. There we go, hook him. There we go. Four yards on first down makes it second and six. Now, yes, hook him had another fumble today, but it went out of bounds. So it wasn't the worst time to fumble. Gets two more yards there. We've got third and four. On third and four, we're going to let Jawil Ishmael take off with it. Slide forward six yards and a first down. On first down, we're going to look to Van Noy. It's incomplete, not the end of the world. Second down, going to throw to Hookham. Caught, gain a nine. So we've got third and one and a half coming up. They're going to call it third and one. We'll run it with Hookham. Gets two yards, gets the first down. And now on first and goal, right back to Hookham we go, and he's stuffed. Time continues to roll, though. We're easily in point-scoring territory. He gets two yards there, so third and goal. Last play of the quarter. We will hand it to him one more time and punch it in to make it a 20-7 to ball game. Kick the extra point, and it is 21-7 to Longhorns. Fourth quarter, Minnesota with the ball. They score. They do the onside kick, but we recover it with 32 seconds left in the game. So we'll take the clock down, likely kick a field goal to make it 24-14, and hopefully clinch this dub. There we go, hook him with four yards on second and five, makes it third and inches. We'll use an audible here, try to cut him loose one more time. Gets three yards, and now we'll kick an extra point. Sorry, I said extra point. We're kicking a field goal, not an extra point. 47-yarder coming up here. Got good power. Accuracy should be there. We doink it in, but the kick is good, and we win 24-14. to Jawil Ishmael has a thigh injury. He's out for two games. That is not good. That is not good, but we'll take the win. We're up to 4-2. We're going to praise the whole team. Amari, you deserve a lot of praise, but it was a whole team effort. You had great blocking. 76 yards, two TDs, 113 and two for Ishmael. 
Khalil Barron boost your strength, good sir. And then looking ahead to next episode, we're going to play Notre Dame and Rutgers without a quarterback. Notre Dame comes to Texas, but then we go to New York to play Rutgers. We do have our bye week. That's after Feeler and Ishmael are done being injured. And then we supposedly have Tennessee for the second time. Now, that's not really the case. Instead, we're going to take on the Memphis Tigers, also from the state of Tennessee. So expect by next episode to see Tennessee renamed to the Memphis Tigers. But 4-2... Two games in is not bad at all. Let's look at Hookham's stats. Three and a half yards of carry is not the best, but he had a touchdown. He didn't actually lose his fumble, and he had two catches for 13 yards. Now, it's really unfortunate our quarterback is hurt, but we practiced in the preseason without one. Joel Ishmael, he was 8 of 11 today. It's not doing a ton passing. Rushing four carries, 17 yards. That's where we're really going to miss him as a second rushing option. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Retro Bowl content. In the comments, let me know. Who are your favorite players so far? Who are your least favorite? Should we be allowing a guy like Dwayne Fluker to even be on the roster still? I mean, he's gone after this season, but should I be allowing him to play? Should I have him be out for the year? I want to know what you guys think. Amari Hookham, of course, playing really well on defense. They came in clutch the last couple weeks. Levine Bailey with a forced fumble. Philip Coley not doing much, but he's also very, very raw. Colton Tremble starting to step up with better, more consistent tackling numbers. And hey, we won our last two games by 13 and by 10. Even the three-point win in overtime against Florida was nice. But yeah, with all of that being said, that's going to do it for today's video. Guys, MG from Skull Gaming Network. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.